Hey guys, it's Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to take a commonly found thrift store item, a t-shirt, and turn it into a ball of yarn. You can use that ball of yarn to create thick, chunky scarves, anything that you would crochet or knit. And then I have a few projects that I'm going to show you over the coming weeks that will show you what you can do with this material that doesn't include knitting or crocheting, because I don't actually knit or crochet, but I have found lots of uses for this um, yarn. So let's get started. To make your t-shirt yarn, you're obviously going to need some t-shirts. And I'll talk about the kinds of t-shirts you want to use in just a minute. Now to cut your yarn, you can use just a pair of scissors, or what I find most helpful is to use a straight edge, a, rot um, a self-healing cutting mat, and a rotary cutter. But again, you can use just scissors. And then optionally, in the end, I'll show you how to make a center pole um, ball of t-shirt yarn using just a pill bottle. So if you have a pill bottle laying around or some kind of tall plastic bottle with a lid, go ahead and grab that. Here are a couple of things to look for when you're picking out your t-shirts to make yarn. One of the things that you don't want is on this t-shirt here, you'll see that there's a seam down the side and a lot of t-shirts have that. It's not going to lend itself very well to rolling into a nice finished edge if it has this seam. So look for shirts without a seam. The other thing you want to look for is print. So a lot of t-shirts that you'll find at Goodwill and whatnot are silly things like family reunion shirts that just have the family's name in their reunion or advertisements for law firms or some other silly things that people aren't going to wear and those are the t-shirts that I try to buy. But I look for the print. If the print comes down too far below the armpit, because we're going to use everything down below, then it's also going to not lend well to rolling into a nice finished edge. So you can still use shirts that have print way down below, but for other projects, just not for t-shirt yarn. So I'm going to use just a nice plain t-shirt. I have a black one here. It has no seam down the side. I try to take a um, a lint roller to my shirts, especially black, before I do anything with them. And um, believe it or not, I already took a lint roller to this one. It's pretty sad. Alright, so what you want to do is take your t-shirt, lay it out flat in front of you. The thing to remember too when you're picking a t-shirt is if you need a lot of the same color, try to find bigger t-shirts because you'll get more yarn from them. Okay, so you're going to fold your t-shirt in half the long ways. Or nearly in half. Let me show you. So you'll take, make sure you're on your cutting mat completely. You'll take one edge and line it up and take the second edge and line it up about, you want to get as close as you can to that top edge with your second piece um, without getting too close. So um, within a half to probably more like an inch is probably the best you're going to do. So get it all lined up, straightened out, make sure there's no lumps underneath. Okay. First thing you're going to do is take off the hem of your t-shirt. So this binding edge here you want to remove. So go ahead and cut off your edge. Oh, new rotary cutter not working so much for me. Okay, set that aside. Okay, now we're going to start making cuts down our t-shirt, and I'm going to use my, my mat as a guide for how long or how wide to make these strips. So I'm going to line up the edge I just cut so that it's right flush with one of my inch marks. And then I'm going to take my measuring, my straight edge, and I'm going to line it up at the next inch mark, both above my t-shirt and below. And I'm going to cut from here all the way up to just past this top piece without going through the second piece. So go ahead and cut. Hearing some, I feel like I have a roll under there. So you can see I cut through that one without cutting through here. And then you'll move it down the next inch and do the same thing. And you'll do this all the way to the armpit portion of the shirt. Now if you want to use thicker 
yarn, like if you have a chunkier project you want to work on, then you can do two inch cuts, you can do three inch cuts, whatever is your preference. And then when you get close to the armpit, the last slice, you're going to cut all the way through both pieces and remove the bottom portion of the t-shirt from the top. Oops. There. Now you want to grab a good pair of fabric cutting scissors. You're going to take and unfold your t-shirt so all these pieces just unfold them. Alright, and then we need to hand cut all these pieces up here at the top. So let me show you, we'll get this started. If you start from the edge, down from, uh, across from where this slit is here, on the edge and go straight or diagonal I guess to the first cut on the opposite side so to here and snip and then you're going to move on to the next one and sometimes it's easier if you put your hand inside here and get it all on your arm and make the cuts so here's the alternative way to do it you can put your hand down where the fold was in between the two sections that were cut and then take your scissors and cut from the edge to the next slot on the opposite side. And then from one slice to the next, like that. So go ahead and make all your cuts and then you'll, you should have one continuous piece of t-shirt yarn and I'll show you how to finish it up. Okay, once you have a pile that looks something like this, you're gonna find one of your ends and this is how you finish it off. This is how you make a good t-shirt yarn. You could certainly do your crocheting and whatnot with this, but this will be a nice, a nicer finish for your projects. So you're going to hold your finger sort of in the center of the strip on the end, and then <clears throat> keeping your other thumb in the center at a um, comfortable distance for you, and just pull. And as you pull, you'll see the edges start to curl under, and these are your raw edges. If you have see if you have any of these little weird pieces where you cut funny, you can just snip those off, and then it should curl under. Okay, so that's the kind of finish you want. You have this nice little tube that'll be nice to work with. You won't see the raw edges in your finished project. So even this, look how terrible that looks, and it rolls under nicely. So it doesn't matter, you know, how choppy it got really. So then just keep doing this all the way to the end. So once all of your t-shirt yarn has been pulled into a nice finished edge. In order to make a center pull ball of yarn, you're going to take your pill bottle, open end up, just drop in a little length into the top, and that'll be your center pull piece. Put the lid on so you don't lose it, and then start wrapping. Now when you're wrapping, you want to make sure that you wrap nice even circles around your bottle, you know, sort of um, oblong. You want to get the bottom cover the bottom but don't cover the top because you're going to pull this piece out of your ball of yarn. So just keep wrapping Okay, so once you get to the end of your yarn, just tuck that under. And then you're going to remove the pill bottle. So you can try to wiggle it. Sometimes I tend to um, uh, wind my yarn a little bit tight and I can't get it out. But if you push from the bottom, you can start to get that out of there. And then just keep pulling until it's all the way out. Take off your lid. And then here's your center pull piece. So you can see comes out really nice without winding your ball of yarn all over the floor.